We're following two breaking stories right now at 11. First, human remains found near a college campus in Jacksonville. But first, we start with this dramatic video that you see there on the left side of your screen. About 25 beached wells in St. Simons Island. Facebook video shows those pilot wells beaching themselves in Georgia and St. Simons Island. This all happened sometime around six. We saw that video on Facebook. Just an incredible yeah. video to watch and see it unfold. Cameron Eppinger is on your side. He's been talking to witnesses and he's there on the beach. And Cam, we saw dozens of bystanders rush there into the water to help these whales. Yeah, Heather, that's correct. Dozens of rescuers, beachgoers, they went in to help those wells out. And I talked to one of those rescuers and he says that it was definitely a rare sight, a sight to see. And he says that it was definitely a mix of emotions. At one point, it was cool to see that large amount of animals here, right here on shore. But he, at the same time, he says it was also sad because many of those wells, they were determined to stay out of the water. I, I feel really, uh, really sad seeing them, but like this is crazy. Like, Cell phone video capturing a rare rescue at St. Simon's Island Tuesday night. And then it was really exciting to see everybody trying to help them. But then at the same time, it was sad that they didn't leave, that they didn't swim away. More than 20 pilot whales inch their way to shore, forcing several beachgoers to jump in and help. Tony Birch, a marine life expert, was swimming nearby at the time. He says the whales are doing what's called beaching or ending up along the shoreline. Uh, the water had came and also people were helping push them out. Mm -hmm. So in a matter of 30 minutes where they had been on sand, they were suddenly back in the water. And then people were trying to keep them upright so they could breathe. It's a sight so rare that experts like him are still unsure as to why it happens. Maybe the, the leader of the pod individual could have uh, been sick or injured or hurt or something. And so then the others didn't know where to go. They simply got lost or there could have been a pollution problem or there could have been a dredging problem. There's a lot of dredging been going on for the last two months out here. Now at this hour right now, the big question is where are the whales right now in relation to where we are right now? We're at the St. Simon's Pier and according to that expert, he tells me that the whales right now are actually to my left at the south of the island and we're told that there is a group of people that are still with the whales at this hour and he also tells me that there is a high chance that they could actually beach again around 3 o'clock overnight. Of course, we'll keep you posted, but for now reporting live, Cameron Leppinger, First Coast News on your side.